So first of all, I would like to introduce uh, our group and how we are involved uh, in the Plastis project and also introduce uh, shortly uh, the plastics industry in Hungary in general. And after that, uh, I am going to discuss uh, the state of biopolymers in our country according to the different branches, uh, biopolymer production, processing, uh, the state of recycling, and also research. So the Laboratory of Plastics and Rubber Technology, our group is uh, a joint unit of the Budapest University of Technology and Economics and the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. Uh, we are located in uh, Budapest, the capital city, and uh, we were not uh, involved in the plastics project initially. Only last year uh, we joined after uh, Professor Mirtus uh, proposed that we uh, might also be involved this, uh, in this project and set up a national info point uh, in Hungary, uh, which we have already made. I am glad to announce that our uh, website uh, at the sites.google.com is uh, now operational. Nevertheless, we are uh, intent to uh, further improve this website and extend it with uh, certain functions, but at least now it's in, uh, operational. So our objectives uh, as part of the project and uh, with the national info point is naturally to provide information in Hungary in sus uh, on sustainable plastics. Uh, as according to our experience, uh, there is uh, considerable interest from both the customers and uh, the players in the industry uh, towards sustainable solutions uh, in plastics. Also, to clarify definitions, uh, which is very important in such a young field as uh, biopolymer science and uh, the application of bioplastics, uh, again, according to our experience, uh, several uh, definitions in this area are misused uh, generally or uh, quite hazy sometimes. And also, by this, we aim to promote communication between uh, the field of research, industry, and also the consumers. So, plastics industry uh, is a very important branch naturally in all Europe and also in our country, in Hungary. In Europe, uh, the plastics industry manufactures approximately 40 million tons of products every year and in Hungary, of that, uh, 1.7 million tons uh, is produced. We also have the highest number of employees uh, in Europe according to uh, statistics provided by the European Plastics Converters. Uh, almost 300,000 people uh, are involved in this uh, branch, which is higher than uh, such numbers in the UK and France. Uh, the plastics production in Hungary uh, constantly increases aside from a slight uh, decline uh, at the 2008 crisis, and such a, such a dynamic uh, increase is further uh, accepted uh, in the next uh, years. Most of this production, uh, as all industrial production in Hungary, usually concentrates uh, in the western regions in the country and uh, around the capital city. So, uh, according to a survey provided by DuPont uh, made in 2011, uh, led to the conclusion that uh, according to uh, the opinion of uh, plastics producers uh, involved in the packaging industry, the top challenge facing this uh, field is sustainability, which, uh, is, uh, which highlights the importance of this area. Uh, according to the opinion of uh, plastics processors in this field, sustainability is an even more uh, important question than costs, which is quite surprising according to my opinion. So, in Hungary, agriculture uh, is a very important branch, uh, uh, even if uh, this only, pro uh, only produces approximately 3% of the Hungarian GDP, but this is a basic industry nevertheless. Uh, the yield of uh, grain crops <coughs> in the country uh, fluctuates around 20 million uh, tons every year. Most of these is corn and wheat, uh, of which above uh, approximately 70% uh, is starch. So these crops provide an excellent uh, raw material for all biotechnological processes in general and also uh, for plastics uh, production, bioplastics production in particular. <clears throat> 
The challenges uh, this branch faces are high production capacities are needed in order to be profitable uh, in this field, and also a complex production technology is needed. Uh, probably you are all familiar with uh, the example of NatureWorks, uh, the Cargill Doe company, and this company can, uh, could be successful also because uh, Cargill is originally uh, involved in agriculture, and uh, on this basis, they started to produce uh, the certain chemicals and polylactic acid uh, among them. So this all leads to uh, the conclusion that very high capital investment is needed uh, in this field in order to be successful. One such example uh, already exists in Hungary as well, uh, only in an initial phase, unfortunately. Uh, Nitrochemia is a Hungarian company also involved in agriculture originally. Uh, a couple of years ago, they founded uh, another company, Hunas Biorefinery uh, Limited, uh, the aim of which is uh, to start the production of uh, lactic acid-based products and also polylactic acid uh, based on uh, wheat starch. So, in this case also, a uh, wide range of products uh, are planned. Nutritional gluten is one direction, and uh, the other direction is lactic acid-based products. Uh, for example, uh, environmentally, uh, environmentally um, friendly solvents, and also on this uh, basis the production of polylactic acid is uh, planned. Unfortunately, one question uh, which remains uh, in this case is the realization of this project. They initiated this uh, several years ago, but still uh, it's not in the face of uh, truly producing anything or realizing uh, the plant itself. So this is still a question if uh, we are going to have this project uh, success successful in the, uh, in the future. Bioplastics processing, uh, on the other hand, is uh, somewhat uh, more advantageous position, maybe. On the other hand, uh, certain challenges uh, exist in all uh, our region, I believe, so the Central European region. The main question uh, the plastics processors uh, face in this field is uh, the question of raw materials. Western European producers and American producers are able to provide, provide uh, high quality and constant quality, uh, but for a higher price. On the other hand, Far Eastern suppliers uh, are quite uh, um, advantageous in terms of price, but uh, according to our experience uh, and the opinion of uh, basically all plastics producers involved in bioplastics processing, the uh, constant quality of uh, these materials are highly questionable usually. The problem is, or another problem, is that uh, no real domestic uh, demand uh, exists nowadays uh, in our region for uh, these products, as they tend to be more expensive uh, compared to other uh, products based on uh, conventional plastics. So most of these uh, companies can all only produce uh, on exports. The other problem is uh, that no state-initiated uh, funding schemes exist at the moment promoting uh, the foundation and uh, and uh, yeah and the existence of uh, such companies, and yeah the conclusion is that there is a negligible production at the moment of such biopolymer-based products in the country. There are some encouraging examples, however. ECO is maybe the most important among these. ECO is a large manufacturer of uh, office supplies in Hungary and also in all uh, Central Eastern Europe. And uh, some years ago, they initiated or introduced uh, a green a product line based on bioplastics uh, with the name Green Planet. Um, on the other hand, uh, on the one hand, uh, this shows that a uh, large volume is usually needed in order to be profitable uh, in this area, uh, as uh, ECO is a big company with large volume. And on the other hand, uh, most of these cases also, uh, in most of these cases, uh, profitabil profitability is uh, still questionable. And the main reason several companies uh, introduce such uh, uh, product lines is the marketing uh, advantages of uh, the existence of uh, such products. The 
public appearance of uh, these companies can be improved uh, considerably using this. So now about the uh, recycling uh, industry in Hungary and the state of uh, the recycling of uh, certain plastics. Uh, the composition of municipal solid waste in Hungary can be uh, seen on the diagram. Uh, as you can observe, most of uh, the waste production is organic, paper and plastics. Uh, with plastics being approximately 16% of uh, the whole. This is somewhat lower as in uh, most Western European countries, which uh, is based on uh, the lower plastics demand also in our country. So, uh, with about the waste management uh, or the management of uh, this waste, uh, on the one hand, we can observe a constant decrease uh, of the uh, amount of waste and also a slowly increasing ratio of recycling, but still, this is a quite low ratio. Uh, three main uh, routes can be uh, mentioned uh, in terms of recycling. One and the most uh, simple maybe is incineration. Uh, in most cases in our country this is also connected with energy production which is uh, the most uh, advantageous way of doing it. Uh, still the ratio of incineration at the moment is very low compared to most Western European countries. So there is room for a uh, considerable increase of uh, capacities in this way. The reprocessing and composting, so other uh, means of uh, recycling, uh, mainly consists of uh, reprocessing in our country. Composting at the moment, uh, I, uh, the ratio of composting at the moment is very low, uh, mostly because of insufficient composting capacities in the country. For both uh, these options, so reprocessing and comp composting, uh, the selective collection is a very important requirement. Selective uh, uh, collection of waste at the moment is still quite low. In terms of plastics, it is around 22% uh, at the moment, uh, which is still very low, but at least it's con constantly increasing. And this is a very important requirement for increase our recycling ratio as well. One uh, option in order to promote uh, the use of sustainable plastics and sustainable products in all branches uh, is the environmental product tax in our country, which every uh, manufacturer has to pay according to the environmental effect of their products. In theory, this should be invested by the state for uh, environmental development in terms of selective waste collection and uh, the uh, different ways of recycling. But in practice, unfortunately, only a fraction of uh, this money is spent on these purposes. And uh, usually, a uh, high fraction is spent on financing national debt, unfortunately. Uh, another important solution is uh, the environmentally friendly product ecolabel, which is applied in our country in accordance uh, with the uh, European ecolabel system. This was introduced in 1994. and. Uh, it aims to uh, promote recycled and recyclable and compostable products in the country. A state-owned uh, non-profit organization controls application and qualification of the system. And uh, naturally, as in other branches, uh, directions and standards uh, uh, considerably changed in the recent years. And our group was also involved uh, in this case uh, in changing the qualification system according to the new modern standards and to promote uh, really biodegradable and compostable materials uh, in this field. It also used to provide a partial exemption from environmental product tax, uh, which is unfortunately not true at the moment. Uh, so there is no real direct uh, financial advantage uh, for companies uh, using uh, the Ecolabel. It only provides information to customers and recycles recyclers uh, in terms of uh, sustainability of a product, which is, of course, uh, very important, but still uh, direct uh, financial advantages would be needed uh, in this field. And last but not least about research. Uh, 
research also uh, faces uh, certain challenges nowadays uh, as the trends are changing and sustainability is a very important question nowadays. And also uh, every uh, research uh, related to bio nano intelligent and functional materials uh, is very uh, common and uh, needed. The question is of funding uh, in Hungary and for Hungarian research groups uh, consists of uh, three ways mainly, as uh, in other countries as well. State funding is uh, constantly uh, decreasing, unfortunately, nowadays. So our main options are Hungarian and the European projects and uh, the industry. And for this, we need connections, of course, both on a national level and an international level in which uh, such uh, cooperations and projects as Plastis can help a lot in order to promote knowledge transfer between the research and the industry. Our research group is uh, involved in uh, various uh, fields related to biopolymers, uh, starting from biopolymer uh, production, so polymerization techniques, the application of certain uh, heterogeneous systems such as blends and composites, among them uh, the usage of uh, wood flour and other natural fillers. And also, uh, we aim to be involved in biomedical applications as well in the future, as this uh, is not directly connected to sustainability of plastics, but still a very important area, as uh, many of uh, polymers which found now application on a, an industrial level as well uh, started uh, to be applied in the biomedicine first. So this could initiate a uh, further success of certain materials uh, by promoting research uh, related to them. Also, uh, I would like to uh, tell a few words about uh, a conference we organized last year. As, uh, as I also mentioned uh, earlier, there was uh, considerable interest uh, from both uh, research groups in the country and internationally and from the industry and customers as well. So uh, we organized last year a conference related to uh, bio-based polymers and composites. And I have to say it was very successful. So we decided uh, to organize a, next me uh, a second meeting in 2014. Uh, the scope of this conference uh, basically involves uh, all uh, research fields related to biopolymers. Uh, it will be uh, held in Visegrad, Hungary, uh, in, in the August of 2014. The chairman will be Béla Pukanski, professor, and the secretaries uh, Zsuzsanna Horváth and myself. So, uh, everyone is welcome, and uh, in case you uh, would like to receive uh, further information on this conference, uh, you can uh, Contact us uh, on the um, on the addresses or website and uh, email address, and of course uh, you can contact us uh, directly during uh, the plastics conference too. Finally, to conclusions, plastics industry is uh, plays a major role in the economies of Hungary and all Europe, and sustainability is a major challenge challenge uh, in this field. Central Euro Eastern Europe uh, faces. Uh, similar challenges in my opinion, and in order to increase uh, sustainability, we have to provide information uh, to uh, research groups, uh, customers, and industrial players uh, involved in this field, and also strengthen international and interdisciplinary cooperation. And last but not least, uh, visit us in Hungary in August 2014 on the BIPACO 2014 meeting. Thank you very much for your attention.